guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today we are starting off this makeup look by priming our face. I'm using my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I'm just applying that all over to make sure that this makeup stays on all night long. For foundation, I'm using my Rimmel 25 Hour Lasting Finish Foundation. I'm just mixing two of my shades because your girl is a little bit tanner than usual. Yay! <laughs> I'm blending it in with my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge just to make sure I get a really flawless, full coverage um, finish. I did lose my clip of me applying concealer, but I used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, in NC15, applied that in my normal areas that I like to conceal. And then I'm going to set everything down using my Laura Mercier, that's what it's called, <laughs> Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm really pressing this into the skin. I'm not baking or anything, I'm really rolling and pushing the powder into my skin to make sure this is all really set down and lasts all night long. For brows, I'm using two products. The first one is the Rimmel, oh not Rimmel, <laughs> Models Prefer Brow Pencil. This is a really, really waxy formula and I really, really love it. Super affordable. Um, so I'm just applying this to the kind of front portion of my brow and leaving the tail end alone. Because of the waxy formula, it makes it really hard to get that really nice faded tip on the end of your brow. So for that end portion of my brow, I am going to be using my Anastasia brow define and I find if I use these two products together my brows turn out amazingly so they're like my new favorite combo. For eyeshadows today we're using the Tartus Pro palette and I'm going to be taking the first shade which is Innocent just on a really large fluffy brush and I'm really going all out with this shadow. Building up the color I am wanting the same intensity throughout the entire kind of crease and um, so yeah just applying that with a very, very heavy hand actually, and blending it right up to my brow bone. So we get this really, really nice blown out gradient effect. And I am focusing, as you can see, right into that inner corner as well. Then moving on to our next shade, I'm going to be taking Whimsy and I'm taking that on a slightly still fluffy brush. I'll leave the brushes listed down below. Um, it's slightly more tapered though, and it's gonna get a little bit more of a precise um, application. As you can see, I'm focusing this color mainly just right into the crease area and bl blending it out. But again, that same intensity throughout the entire crease. Then we're going to move on to our lid color. I am going to be using my Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is going to give the best kind of color payoff for the next shade that we use, which is Ethereal. Just again from the Tardis Pro palette, I'm picking this up on my finger and then really patting and pressing it onto my eyelid to get the best pigment payoff. If you'd like, you can use a setting spray like Matte Fix Plus or anything like that, but I find this works really well for me and I get really minimal fallout and it just looks amazing. So after I have got the kind of pigment that I want, I'm going to just blend out the edges between the lid color and the crease color with a little bit more whimsy, just on that same brush we used earlier. And then because I wanted a bit more of a spotlighted effect, I am going to use Steeler's Kitten. I'm using a little bit more of that glitter glue just on the center portion of my lid and then pressing that kitten shadow right onto the center. Then I do kind of grab a little bit of ethereal on one finger and a little bit of kitten on the other finger and blend the edges of the two together. So I have this really kind of nice champagne-y golden uh, look. Then for lower lash line, I am going to be taking Innocent just on a pencil brush and really just smoking out that lower lash line. And then on the kind of outer third, I'm just smoking out a little bit of whimsy as well. For my lower waterline, I am going to be using my Rimmel Nude Pencil. And I'm just applying that again just on my lower waterline just to really open up my eyes and make them look really bright and awake. Then for bronzer and my face kind of bronzing cold contouring palette, I'm using the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Palette. This is a palette that they created in collaboration with Chloe Morello and I'm really loving it guys. It's such a nice color on my kind of fair skin. Um, the color's amazing. And then for my highlight I'm going to be taking firstly this is What's Up by Benefit and I'm just applying that on all the areas that I want to highlight and then topping it off with Champagne Pop of course. It's like the perfect color for this kind of bronzy look. I'm supplying that to my cheekbones, tip of my nose, cupid's bow, brow bone and my inner corners um, to give me a really nice glowy natural, it's not natural, why am I saying natural, really nice glowy highlighted look. Then for mascara, I'm just applying a little bit of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. We are going to be going on with falsies which are the 
Socialize Vixen Lashes. They are amazing. Seriously, they like make this look. Then for lips, I'm using the Rimmel Lip Color in 42. And I thought it was a little bit pale. So then I went in with this L'Oreal Color Riche um, lipstick as well. I'll leave the color listed below. But that is kind of the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed filming it for you. I hope you have a fantastic re rest of the week. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.